hello all uh, welcome to the new video in this video we will discuss about the figure of merit of dspsc system which is a popular uh, technique used in modulation the double sideband suppressed carrier so we have studied about this uh, modulation technique uh, we will define the figure of merit for this system with the help of signal to noise ratio which we have learnt in the previous video so uh, the prerequisite prerequisite is you need to know what is SNR and different types of SNR that is uh, SNR of I SNR of O and then channel SNR and what is the uh, definition of FOM that is figure of merit which we tried in the previous video I will write it again here SNR of output upon SNR of carrier so this figure of merit uh, is defined for the receiver FOM of receiver ok always remember this so these are the prerequisites. So, the, with the, this knowledge, we will apply for a DSPSC system. We will understand how DSPSC works again, and then we will calculate SNR of output and SNR of channel, and then we will define what is figure of merit of DSPSC system. So, let's see the basic log diagram. So uh, let's look at the basic plot diagram of DSPSC, both the modulation and demodulation. So I will draw the diagram which will represent both these two. So say this is your signal M of T. This is a modulator and then this is a carrier cos omega CT. So this is our modulated signal S of T. So this we send through the channel. Okay, and in channel what happens? We encounter noise. Uh, noise say n of t which is additive in nature it will add to the modulated signal s of t so this is sent to the at mm -hmm. receiver side what we will have we will have band pass filter to attenuate uh, like noise and all which is unwanted we are just interested in our like in our specified bandwidth so this will uh, attenuate all the high frequency signals so after that what we do is we use coherent detection at the receiving side. So to use coherent detection what we do we send it to the product modulator where uh, the one input is uh, our modulated signal S of T and uh, other is local carrier cos omega CT which is same as this one both are same. So after this we send it to the low pass filter. So this is the output. This is our required method signal. So we need to define figure of merit for this DSPSC system in this video. So uh, first we will calculate what is figure uh, to calculate figure of merit. We need SNR of O upon SNR of C. So first we will define SNR of C. So, in order to calculate a figure of merit for DSPSC signal, we need to have SNR of O upon SNR of C. So, let's first calculate what is channel SNR. So, as we know, SNR of C is defined as average power of. modulated signal upon 
एवरेज पावर ऑफ नॉइस इन मैसेज पैंड सो कमिंग टू द डी एस पी एस सी सिग्नल फॉर डी एस पी एस सी अवर एस ऑफ टी कैन बी डिफाइंड एस ए सी एम ऑफ टी कॉस टू पाई एफ सी टी सो एवरेज पावर ऑफ मॉडुलेटेड सिग्नल is nothing but ec ec square m square of t upon 2 so let's define m square of t as p so this uh, our average power comes out to ec square p by 2 so this is our average power of modulated signal so now next step is to calculate average power of noise in message bandwidth so let's do that so now we need to calculate average power of noise in message bandwidth so as we all know the noise spectrum oops looks something like this this is the frequency domain and this is our bandwidth minus w to the blue and on the right minus w to the blue and uh, this is n not by 2 so average power of noise in message bandwidth can be defined as area under this curve since uh, this is a rectangle so we just multiply this as this area can be calculated as n not by 2 into 2 times w so this will cancel each other so area will be w into n not so this is the average power of noise in message bandwidth so the snr of c can be the final value average power of uh, modulated signal is nothing but ac square p by 2 so divided by w into n not so this is nothing but ac square p by 2 times w into n not this is snr of c so this is our first step Uh, to calculate figure of merit now let us see what is snr of output so for snr of output we know that average power of demodulated signal to that of average power of noise so in order to know the average power of demodulated signal we need to understand the receiver side so we completed the uh, calculation of snr of uh, c uh, now we need to calculate snr of o okay so before that uh, i would like to draw the block diagram again so that uh, you get to know so this is a modulator and we have got s of t here okay this s of t it will uh, add up with noise say n of t and this is sent to the band pass filter at the receiving side for dspc signal and this sum s of t plus n of t is sent to the product modulator okay just a We multiply. So we have a carrier here, cos omega c t, and this is nothing but s of t plus n of t. Okay, and that is sent to the low pass filter. So we we'll just write down this s of t plus n of t here. Okay. So what is the s of t? E c m of t cos to pi f c t. 
and this noise n of t can be uh, divided into two parts that one is in phase component and another is quadrature component so this n of t can be represented as ni of t cos 2 pi of ct this is in phase component and this is quadrature component sin 2 pi of ct okay So A C M of T cos two pi F C T plus M I of T cos two pi F C T minus M Q of T sine two pi F C T. So this is sent to the product modulator. So that means we need to multiply this by cos two pi F C T. So that will be output of uh, this product modulator say X of T. So if we simplify this, X of T will be E C M of T plus square two pi F C T plus uh, N I of T plus square two pi F C T and this is minus M Q of T sine two pi F C T into cos two pi F C T. Okay, so once you send this X of T to the low pass filter. This will be eliminated, okay, and all high frequency will be eliminated actually. So using uh, this formula, one uh, plus cos two theta is equal to cos square theta. So here uh, represent this cos square two pi f c t by one plus cos four pi f c t. So after simplification and all, uh, that is Lopar uh, filter will attenuate all high frequency signals. So at the end, our output will something look like this. Look something like this. So output of L low uh, low pass filter will be A C M of T by two plus N I of T by two. Remember that the quadrature component will not pass through the low pass filter. Okay. So we eliminated that part. We were uh, Having this equation now, so represent this cos square theta just a simple uh, rearranging these terms. So using this uh, identity, you can do it. So you'll end up with this equation. So once this is done, uh, we need to calculate the power, okay, signal power, and as well as average power of noise. So That sub will calculate S N R of O. So now we need to calculate the uh, S N R of O, and uh, to calculate S N R of O, we need to have a uh, signal power. So this is the average power of a uh, demodulated signal that is output of the low power filter. Since it is E C M of T by two, to get the power, we just square it. We square. Okay. So that will be E C square m square of t divided by two. This will be E C square t by two. This is the signal power. Now we'll need to calculate the noise power. So we need to calculate. Remember that uh, the coherent detector. Reject. Quadrature component. Quadrature component. So we are just le left with one by two n i of t, which is in phase component of noise. So in order to calculate uh, the noise power, what do we do? We uh, this will get squared. Okay. So one by two will become one by four, and noise power of In phase component, noise power of in phase component. So, uh, for to so calculate noise power of uh, in phase component, we need to consider the noise spectrum of the in phase component. So it looks something like this. This is the bandwidth, and this is the amplitude. So area under this curve, uh, this curve will give the noise power of in phase component. That will come to n naught into two into w. 
2w n0 okay so that you multiply by 1 by 4 we will uh, we'll get noise power as w n0 by 2 okay so that is the noise power so we can give this as SO and uh, this as NO so SNR of output will be SO by NO so it will be something uh, like this this is where uh, this will be this is we need to multiply it by 2 sorry so AC square P by 4 um, right. So SNR will be AC square P by 4 and uh, that into divided by this WN0 by 2. So that will become 2 by WN0. So cancel each other. We get SNR of O as AC square P by 2WN0. AC square P by 2WN0. So this is same as SNR of C. Okay. So what we get? So what we got? Uh, SNR of O as AC square P by 2W and not. And uh, SNR of C was also same AC square P by 2W N0. So as we had seen earlier uh, the figure of merit is defined as signal to noise ratio of output to that of signal to noise ratio of channel. So since both are equal we get figure of merit of BS BSC system is equal to 1. So both cancel each other. So This is how you derive figure of merit for any modulation technique. So in next video we will see about uh, SSP and as well as AM. That is amplitude modulation. So thanks for watching. If you have any doubts please use the comment section. I would uh, be glad to help you out. Please subscribe our channel. Thanks.